Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. Hey guys, this episode's Rigging Station. Want to talk to you in depth on the tackle that we're fishing. You're watching us out here, slow pitch jigging. A real important factor is on the diameter of the braid and the strength of the diamond braid. And when do we fish what strength braid and why? Let me try and sum it up for you. This is my go-to slow pitch jigging outfit. It's loaded with 30 pound diamond braid, 650 yards of line on this Daiwa Saltiga 30HA Star Drag conventional reel. Again, Again, it's my go-to for jigs up to about 300 grams. Even though I can push this rod to 400 grams, I'm really comfortable to that 300 gram range. The rod is six foot three and ideal for up to about 500 feet of water. Now, when we're fishing deeper water, greater currents, heavier jigs, in this case, I've got a 500 gram jig on, okay? I bumped it down and I went from 30 pound braid down to 20 pound braid, lighter line, 33% thinner. Now this is a Daiwa Saltiga 35 HA, a little bit of a larger reel. So I've got thinner line, but even more line capacity. What does that allow me to do? Well, it allows me to fish heavier jigs, deeper water, stronger current, and I can have much greater sensitivity and I can remain as vertical as possible. And that's the key to successful slow pitch jigging is you wanna be as vertical as possible. Once you scope out way out there, you've gotta reel it in and start all over again. So as a rule of thumb, thinner braid, deeper water, heavier jigs, stronger current. When you're in shallower water, more manageable current, lighter jigs up to 300 grams, the 30 pound diamond braid is absolutely bulletproof. So just keep that in mind next time you're rigging your outfits for slow pitch jigging and by having a couple of different setups, you'll be able to conquer anything that comes your way.